I'm late. We had to take my sister to the doctor. Oh, is she okay? Yeah, she had um a pain crisis. She has sickle cell disease. Yikes, that sounds dangerous. Can you catch it? No, I mean, it's not contagious, but you know, I try to eat healthy, exercise, and you know, stay away from things and people that annoy me because I don't want to develop it. Oh, I need to start doing that then. Yeah, like, what? What so what's hold, hold, hold up, hold up. That's not how you get sickle cell disease. It just, it has to do with your parents. They must have the trait, just like I do. <gasps> OMG, are you okay? How are you feeling? Ugh, I'm, I'm literally fine. Uh, so do I have it? Oh my goodness, I need to start living my life differently. Like I can't. Okay, well, what causes this disease anyway? Well, your blood cells have a protein called alpha hemoglobin, and it's responsible for carrying oxygen, but the way that they bond together affects the shape of your red blood cells. But if your cells have beta hemoglobin, they form long rods and cause those cells to form hook-like blood cells, sickle-shaped. These cells can jam blood vessels and cause the issues that are presented in sickle cell disease. Um, okay, so how did my sister get this beta hemoglobin or whatever? Well, her DNA ordered it. What? Excuse me? Yep, her DNA ordered her cells to make that beta hemoglobin. Well, that's not fair. So how did Abeni get alpha hemoglobin? Well, her DNA ordered alpha hemoglobin to be made. <laughs> I'm not worthy. I'm pretty sure it's not that simple. <laughs> well, no, it isn't that simple. But at the same time, that is the reason why. So any disease we get, it's because our DNA told our body to cause it? No, this is not a common cold or COVID-19 we're talking about. It can't be caught or brought about due to your choices. This particular disease is hereditary. She was born with it, just like she was born with brown eyes, beautiful kinky hair, and also she was born with beta hemoglobin. Everything that is physical about us comes from our DNA. The color of our skin, eyes, hair texture, these are called traits. These traits are coded for by genes. Segments or sections of DNA that code for a trait. And every gene is expressed or shown by a protein. If your skin is darker, your DNA didn't just code for some sort of brown paint. It coded for a protein called melanin. And maybe for someone else, it coded for less of it or more of it. So it orders our cells to make these proteins? I don't buy it. Who or what is it talking to? It's talking to its very close cousin, RNA. RNA? Yep, RNA. Her hair is curly because DNA told RNA to go help make the protein keratin. And that's what it does. Well, oh, I don't like this already. I'm gonna get RNA and DNA confused. Well, they are similar. DNA and RNA are both found in all living things. And if we were to look at their full names. Well, that's long. They are both. Nucleic acids. Composed of nucleotides. What are those? Oh, it's monomer. We learned that in biology two years ago. So why y'all still in it? Um, a, a nucleotide consists of a phosphate, a five carbon sugar, and a nitrogenous base. Oh, cool. Well, they have a lot in common, so I guess this should be easy to remember. If they have all of that in common, why do they have different names though? Yeah, y'all yeah, didn't let me get to the differences. So in that nucleotide, the five carbon sugar is different between them. Deoxyribose in DNA and just ribose for RNA. What else do you notice that's different about the entire structure? Um, RNA is single-stranded and DNA is double-stranded. Yep, that's another difference. That double helix in DNA was discovered by Rosalind Franklin. Learn more about her. But now, where is DNA found? Oh, in the nucleus. Yep, and RNA is found in the cytoplasm of the cell. 
Okay, well, my question still remains. You're making it seem like DNA is talking to RNA. And I know these things don't talk, nor do they have faces. So how the heck is DNA telling RNA anything? Okay, I, I just wanted to make it simpler for y'all, okay? DNA is not telling RNA, hey, go make beta hemoglobin. What it's really saying is to go go cats. Come again? Um, excuse me? <laughs> to go go cats. Oh Lord, he having a stroke. I saw something like this on TV. <laughs> okay, it deals with one final difference. Yes, DNA and RNA both have nucleotides with different five carbon sugars, but they also have a different arrangement of their nitrogenous bases. The bases pair up and bond with each other in DNA, like this. Adenine goes with thymine, and cytosine goes with guanine. You can remember it by mm, apples in the tree, cars in the garage. But for RNA, they all have the same bases except... Oh, there's like a U right there instead of the T. Absolutely. So instead of thymine, RNA has a base called uracil. These bases on DNA and RNA are the codes on our genes that do all of the talking. The way that they pair up and bond together help to explain how our DNA is replicated so that RNA can be transcribed and that message can be translated into a protein. This process is called protein synthesis. Let's start. So in the last lesson when we talked about the DNA being copied in cell division, like interface, is that DNA replication? It sure is. And watch how so much more that you've learned is gonna tie into this. So during replication, special proteins that speed up reactions. Uh, those are called enzymes. Absolutely. They are essential to this process. One unzips the DNA, exposing its bases. Another marks where to start. And a special enzyme, DNA polymerase, adds the complementary bases to complete a new copied strand. Fill in these bases for me since you should know what they would be. Okay, um, so this should be A, C, T, C, C, T, G, T, G, G, A, G. Ha, gag. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, believe it or not, during this time, RNA is being made right near here. An enzyme, RNA polymerase, <laughs> reads the basis from DNA and transcribes this message into RNA, messenger RNA. So can you all give me the RNA strand for this DNA? Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. A, C, uh... Wait, what do we put with A if RNA doesn't have thymine? Well, I mean, what does RNA have instead of thymine? Oh yeah, uh, uracil. Oh yeah, man. Okay, so it's gonna be A C U C C U G U G G A G. This messenger RNA, or mRNA for short, was transcribed from DNA. So this whole process that we just described is transcription. Okay, so where are these proteins made? I was actually gonna ask y'all that because you should know it already. Oh, in ribosomes. Yes, sir. The mRNA leaves the nucleus and attaches to a ribosome, which happens to be made out of RNA. We call it rRNA, ribosomal RNA. <laughs> it attaches and is fed through three bases at a time. These three bases are called codons. Then this RNA translates the codon into an anticodon so that it can transfer the building block to make a protein. Uh, another type of RNA? Yep, tRNA. Oh, because it looks like a T? Yeah, I mean, if that helps you, but look at what it's doing, right? It's transferring the building blocks for the protein. And you should know what the building blocks or the monomers of proteins are. Uh, amine, amino acids. Good, right on the money. You see how our DNA codes for everything? Every set of three bases on DNA leads to a codon on mRNA. And that codon could tell the translation process to start 
like this one does. And tRNA, with its corresponding anticodon, will transfer the amino acids. Which amino acid would be next? You can pause to take a second if you'd like. There are many codons, sometimes more than one for the same amino acid. Good. And this goes on and on until you reach a stop codon that stops the process. And then you have... Ah, uh, a protein. Yes, sir, exactly. Well, okay, and this is happening every time a protein has to be made? That's a lot. Well, it's, it's happening all over your body right now. And it has been doing that since you were conceived. Okay, well, what protein did that gene make? Well, the protein that was just translated, that's beta hemoglobin, the protein that causes blood cells to be sickle, like in sickle cell anemia. Whoa, well, well I want to see the sequence for uh, alpha hemoglobin. That's the normal shape one, right? Yeah. Sure, here it is. Um, I don't, I don't see a difference at all. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, th that know. looks exactly the same. Wait, um, wait, no, it's not. Yes, it man, clearly is. If you look the at the, same. oh, wait, like one of the bases is different. One letter ain't about to do nothing. No, no, think about really it. Really it's really a a whole mean, disease. Is that, a You're not gonna. Hmm. Do you see the difference? <laughs> Stay tuned to figure it out. Well, you see, right there, 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 right